Hello, misfits. So, over the next couple of weeks, I will be exploring a series I have done a few times in the past, as this gym has grown from a blog, to a side hustle, to a gym in the backyard, to our last location, and finally, to our little gym here in Northport today. My five Ps of your fitness journey. Well, what are the five Ps? Well, over the course of training and providing consultations for over 500 people, I've done the math, it's actually way more. I found that just like with anything in life worth doing, it's easy to set a goal and then get overwhelmed by what it takes to get there. Now, all of these could apply to any given goal, working out, crafting, car repair, family matters, the list goes on. But I have found them to be true for every person I've ever trained, including and especially myself. So. My five P's are purpose, plan, progress, persistence, and perspective. Now, I want to take the time to go over each one in detail, maybe with some filler in between posts, videos, episodes, entries. So for now, I'll keep it simple and start with purpose. Purpose is both the goal and the reason behind the goal. I use a lot of car analogies in my training, despite not really being a big car guy. That has less to do with a passion for automobiles, and it has everything to do with the fact that I traveled a lot growing up. We traveled for fun, we moved, and since being an adult, that hasn't really slowed down until I opened up this gym. A lot of time on the road, to be cheesy for just a moment, really gives you the time to reflect on life as you stare out the window and watch the scenery and the people passing by, contemplating everything around you. As such, just like going on a car trip or a road trip of any type. Your purpose is both your destination, where you're going, and the reason behind the trip, why you're going there. Stop for a moment and ask yourself whether you're already on your fitness journey or about to start or are thinking about starting. Where do I want to be and why do I want to be there? I have asked a lot of people this question and one more that we will get to shortly. And I even threw it out to several of my fitness communities today. And the answers were as varied as the number of fitness routines, gyms, and exercises out there. They included things like, I want to work out to be able to go down the slide with my kids without getting winded. Or, I want to be able to climb a flight of stairs without feeling exhausted. Or, I do it to feel good or I do it to get strong. Inevitably, and this is both a result of my naturally inquisitive coaching style and my time in the military, intelligence uh, in the army, inevitably I ask again, but why is that important to you? That may seem like a very obvious textbook approach uh, that people would see coming from a mile away, but there was really never an attempt at subterfuge here. It's an attempt to get people to slow down and really dig in instead of answering off the cuff. From experience with myself and others, I find that the goals that get dropped the most often are the ones we go into with half-baked reasons. Not that I didn't note that I didn't say any reason was invalid, or that you can't have a silly reason for wanting to get in shape. Many people I know work out because they want to look good in cosplay. That might seem silly to other people but it's as valid as any other reason. If it gets you in the gym and working on your health, it's valid. What's important is that you know for sure why and why that particular reason is both enough to get you going and either keep you going or sustain you until it becomes a lifestyle or another motivator takes over. As my dad is fond of saying, I don't care as much about what you believe as I do about why you believe it and that you know why you believe it. So yeah, Coach Summer Senior might be responsible for the amount of space that this topic takes up rent-free in my head, so you can blame him. But getting back to it, most people find that if they dig a little deeper, silly or not, there is a reason more important to them than the initial reason. Now, with the goals of moving with your kids and family, that's pretty damn important. But reasons like looking good and feeling good, while still very important, often open up into motivators of 
building confidence, helping to build one's own self-worth as not defined by others, recovering from an abusive or toxic time in their life, wanting to set the bar high now so that when they're older, they remain healthier. They don't all run that deep, but I am here to say that most do, even the silly ones, whether someone realized it when they were answering or not, answering me or answering themselves. But even if it's as simple as, I want to look good, get strong, move better, and take care of myself, if that's what's important, that's the motivator. So that question I mentioned earlier that was coming, the question after that then is, why now? Well, there are a couple key important reasons for asking this. First, it identifies how important this is to someone, to you. You don't have to have been dwelling on this Batman style for decades, ready to avenge your muscles. You could have been thinking on it for a week or a month. But if this has been something you have been wanting to do for years, and it's stuck with you and you still think about it, maybe it's even like bothering you a little bit, it's scratching the back of your brain that you haven't started yet, you clearly want this. But as with all big goals, it's easy to stand at the foot of the mountain and look up, daunted by the climb in front of you. Look, a metaphor that was not car-based. <laughs> Second, it allows you to evaluate whether you are truly ready. Are all of those perceived obstacles that have stopped you before now cleared? Or are you just so ready to start that you are ready to jump those hurdles and push on? Third and finally, and this is more important to me as a coach, but definitely intimately important to you as the person whose body is about to transform, if you haven't started before, is it because of very real limitations and or injuries that you and or your coach need to be aware of? So now we have the what, the why, and the why now. And I was gonna cover the second what, that goal that will help you accomplish your purpose, but I think I'm gonna save that for our next entry, give it time and justice. So if you haven't asked yourself these questions while reading, listening, or watching, I will leave you with this again. What is your purpose in working on your fitness? Why is that your purpose? And why now? Until next time, this has been Coach Cap, helping put the fit in misfit. Talk to you next time.